don't know what happened in the Chinese and uh, the present situation and whether it's bearing for 50 years in the world. 83% unemployed, unemployment. The public service has 350,000 uh, jobs. Uh, the demand is 14 million people looking for jobs. We'll assess that. Yesterday was in Labor Day. Worldwide. We'll also talk about the inside of the United uh, campaigns pressing for uh, President Sennis or Kandich Artists. Honorable Mike 27, the Ghana representative of the staff of the parliament, member of the United Disciplinary Committee. You're most welcome, Honorable Sennis. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. And uh, I want to say hello to all those out there listening and those viewing uh, on the internet. We also are joined by Mr. Asman Basai, uh, pre the only president tonight, president of the Justice Forum, and you're also known as you. You're most welcome, Mr. Basai. Thank you very much, and good evening, all our listeners. And Dr. David Mushari, a senior partner of the Mushari and Company Advocates, also founder of the Africa Rainbow Co uh, Coalition Alliance, which is a uh, future. You're most welcome, Dr. Mushari. Thank you, Edmund. Good evening, listeners and viewers, and good evening, uh, my fellow panelists. Also, Ms. Sarah Perro, spokesman of the Forum for Democratic Change. Mm -hmm. You're most welcome, Honorable Sarah. Thank you, but I'm not a man. I'm a spokeswoman. Let us speak. Let us speak. Let us speak. Let us speak. Let Because you're sitting between two men. Oh, only a man. He was promoting you. Man is less than woman. I will be poor. Is after man. No. Yeah. All right. So, Dr. Madame Sarah Perry, you come from the FDC. Why is Dr. Mr. J promoting violence? Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, when you talk about that, my mind brings back to uh, <coughs> which function was it where Mr. Seven went? Was it an Adam Day? Yes. And uh, on that day, day, is it Independence Day? Yeah, 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 yeah. That particular event there. I watched the whole function on television from beginning to end. Uh, but what touched me on that day, he gave out medals. Many, 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 many medals. But uh, today I'm going to speak about one set of medals that he gave. There are people he gave medals to, you know, congratulate them upon their uh, efforts in the, in the war against, against uh, the previous regimes. And uh, one of the sector that he promoted very well and thanked were those people who engaged in civil disobedience during the time they fought for the British regime. And I said, so he knows it works. So he is just you know, harassing other people who are involved in civil disobedience and he knows he used it also. It works in general. Mm, it doesn't have to be called. The word I think I've used is wrong. Uh, maybe if you are, you know, you, you handle it the way uh, the police handles people in the criminal world. Dr. Dr. Besidi, he has not said he's going to engage in violence. Most of, in fact, among the things we are promoting, we are, we are trying to fight for, uh, 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 for, for reforms, electoral reforms, and uh, my partners, Position of position partners are going around the country trying to promote that, uh, telling the people what exactly we are seeking for in, in uh, uh, the electoral reforms that we are demanding for. But just talking alone when you are dealing with the dictator does not really work out. So, we are not of the Okay, not, not here. Okay, put that elsewhere. Elsewhere. I know you're not careful of putting that, that, that uh, word here. So, you do not need just to talk. I hope we are not going to address violence and end there. He will not listen. He has never listened. He will not listen. They need a force. And as long as that force is not a military force, well, military is also constitutionally accepted in our country. If you want somebody is breaking the constitution and you want to use a military you know, approach, that one is clearly catered uh, for in our constitution. But what are we saying? We are going to use peaceful means. And Dr. BCJ, all along, has been very peaceful. I know I've read, uh, you have highlighted the work to work for projects that uh, were, you know, uh, started uh, just after the election. You did women's to matters in the past. No, 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 no. Those were very peaceful protests. Dr. BCJ simply said, I want to 
show my, you know, dissatisfaction the the with the rise of prices. And he said, I'm walking to town. It was very peaceful. He didn't have a gun, he didn't have a stone, he didn't have a, 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 an arrow. But the way it was handled is what turned it to be violent. We're not saying we're going to involve in any violent means, but what we're asking for, like Dr. Mr. Mr. you know, the body people for civil disobedience. Oh, it's all those stuff, there's so many. You know, I'm a broadcaster, we don't have a lot of time to say all those many titles. As long as I've called his name, I've given him a decent, you know, uh, 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 title as Mr. Museveni, that's what he should satisfy you. So, he rewarded uh, uh, people for civil disobedience. That time it was okay. When it is on our side, it's wrong. It is the police that time our protests in violence. We have always never sought to make it. For example, many, 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 many times. There is a time Dr. Besede came from, uh, 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 from uh, South Africa. We had huge crowds. The police didn't stand and they didn't harass us, and everything was peaceful. Where the police is involved, for example, when we arrested Dr. Besede, the police man handled the situation and turned violent. Recently, there were the Madura Forest uh, 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 protests, yeah, uh, led by Madame uh, Madura. They were very peaceful, and the police came in and turned violent, and people died. So it is not us who make them violent. We are saying we are going to engage ourselves in civil disobedience. We are saying that I'm going to... What do you mean? Can you clarify that? What do you mean by civil disobedience? You know, you know, to promote a regime, you either obey or cooperate with it. Once you do the two, then you are promoting it. We are going to disobey and you are not going to cooperate with it. How do you disobey? There are many ways. Recently there was a strike by the, 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 the businessmen. They looked at the shops. That is civil disobedience. And people tear because they are black. Mm, they couldn't. So those kinds of peaceful uh, persons are the ones we are going to engage in. And uh, I hope uh, <coughs> Mr. Seven will give us a chance so that in future we also reward him like he rewards people in you know, these functions. So the professor has never advocated for violence, he's for peaceful means, and we shall continue with that. Well, we can choose. There are many things we can do. It's we can good. choose. We can do that. We can do that. We can mobilize people. For example, let me look at the, 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 the employment sector. People, people are paid for peanuts. Civil servants are paid peanuts. We can mobilize them and say, well, if you are dissatisfied with whatever is going on, if you are not satisfied with the salaries, sit at home. Who will fire? Who will fire the whole civil service? You don't know what's happening. That's why it's not workable. Well, our people do not understand. In Kenya, when the teachers wanted a, a rise in salary, they sat at home, they strike. And the government listen. Us here, when people demand peacefully, still government does not listen. So when we say we are going to mobilize people to let you know of this uh, massive disobedience, I think we are right. But the word of violence, that is for the police. Mr. Kairou, I think when he does not uh, behave violently on the street, uh, uh, the emergency will not be paid. You have talked about tomatoes. Many times, if you have a TV at home, you have seen the police. Going to the market, eating market, women's uh, food. They don't do that. They pay for it. They do. They do. There's even a, a time women from Kiseka market demonstrated. They went to Kairura and they demanded for a pay that the policemen had eaten in the. Uh, the, 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 the city. That's what they did. So, it's not a government that tell lies. Just go into your archives and get those footages. So, it is the police that turns our protests into violence. But as far as I'm concerned, we are starting to mobilize all those who are dissatisfied who are not contented with the government, to involve in other means other than, you know, violent means. We could not like them for the violent means, but you know that one is expensive in terms of blood and whatever, and uh, we do not want to go into the violent means. Because you can use the violent means, you can use the gun. And replace one gunman with another worse gunman. Mr. Samson went to the bush and used the gun. When he came, he thought he was removing, removing a dictator, but has been a worse dictator. He's not a dictator. He is. He is. I don't know why I don't like to see that. But, and I'm going to add on the other. I know you don't like to hear anything. No insults. How are you, my sir? If it's not this about At some say, Dr. Abbas, you're saying this for me. How are you talking about civil disobedience? What kind of man? It's peaceful. No, I, 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 and uh, I'm going to be very civil and uh, treat uh, Dr. Vesidia with the decorum he deserves by addressing him appropriately as Dr. Kiza Besige, uh, to show that you can be quite, uh, uh, you can apply civility in these matters by addressing people by their titles appropriately. And uh, definitely uh, Dr. Kiza Besige is, uh, 
is a, a very prominent member of the opposition. Uh, there was a change of guards in terms of position leadership where Major General to took uh, mantle. And uh, Dr. Kida BCJ was for the time being uh, involved, more involved in the Kampala City authority issues. Uh, I, I really think he is now. What is that? You know, he was, he was doing a few things with the, the former Lord Mayor. And uh, I, I, I believe he's time wrong. He's time wrong. He's redefining himself in terms of relevance within the political spectrum. He is creating this space. And to me, that is healthy, provided he does not engage in the violent means of, of doing so. What do you mean? Or even disruptive. You know, because the, 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 the methods may not be violent, but they may be disruptive, especially to business. When you concentrate such activities in the central business district, uh, definitely you are bound to disrupt business, you are bound to generate excitement that can have effects that are, are undesirable for the business community. You think you should go through a trial? Not necessarily. There are places that, even when you go out there in, in all these civilized countries, that we, we, we appreciate their designated areas for uh, protests, for demonstrations, so that central business districts are avoided in terms of uh, disrupting uh, the, 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 the business of, uh, of the of the one engine. So I really don't have a big problem with it, provided it is done within the law, provided it is done in a manner that is constructive and that is not disrupt of to business, I really don't find it a problem because the democratic space is available and if he wants to use it, he's free to use it, but use it responsibly and in a manner that does not create havoc or in a manner that does not provoke uh, police into engagement. So to me that would be that would be fine with me, provided it is constructive and I want to emphasize constructive. The block of city square. We see policemen they're having lunch sometimes, lying under the trees. He can't do that on trees, because the, 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 the former airstrip. It's also used for other things. There's more concrete than that. Why should he go? Yeah, they definitely. You only left him with the markets. No, no, no. I think uh, thinking about markets is not uh, the best way to do things. Uh, definitely, Kororo, if you went through the proper uh, channels, Kororo is always available. I've seen a lot of. Uh, Congregations, a lot of activities from civil society, from churches, and the procedure is properly laid out of how to access that. And even security will be provided. I really want us to, to graduate to a level where the engagement is done within the presence of the law and using appropriate venues that should not cause uh, problems for other uh, public that is engaged in their day to day activities. Dr. Mushabe, who does think this was? Cigarette is so big. Can you move a couple of all the change policy, because of the change of policy, by going on the streets? The late Mahatma Makani is the one who started. Non-violent disobedience. And in fact, the one who ushered in the independence of the Indian people, although he was later disappointed because Pakistan was supposed to be part of India, but it broke off along the religious lines, Muslims, Hindus, etc., etc. Dr. Martin Luther King, who is credited for the biggest percentage of emancipating the black the African people in America, also subscribed to this for disobedience to the government. If Dr. Vesige is subscribing to that kind of philosophy, I'm with him, and I'm not ashamed of that. I'm not for violent dislodgement of the government, because where violence is, is, is involved, people lose lives. We must engage our people intellectually, socially, and otherwise. But this, this campaign, uh, that is uh, designed to uh, procure sole candidacy for the president. To me, 
desire. We talk about that, Joshua. Let's let's first of all focus on the, uh, Dr. Persikis and uh, his uh, plan to not civil disobedience. Why, is, why should you go? I mean, as, as some said, you're still peaceful, man. All right. Which is people have to be Yes. But you say, when you say peaceful, even disobedience, you can have a sit down strike. You can call upon the nation, the citizens, sit down and say, we are laying down our tools. Is that violent? Mm -hmm. But that suffocates the government and that threatens the government. So if he can successfully pull that off, I have no problem with that. Who forces you to go to work? You voluntarily, Edmond, you voluntarily came today or this evening to Radio 1 to work. If you, if you feel there is, or if you are convinced that the argument is comparing from Dr. Vesige and you stay home and there is no radio listening, there is no spectrum, that is okay. Because by doing so, you are not hurting anyone. But if, uh, if he, he decides to engage in the violent means. For me, the African Rainbow Alliance does not subscribe to violence. But any means that brings sense, or that hammers sense into the minds of our rulers, not leaders, Matthew, any means that hammers sense into the minds of our rulers, start listening to the people. That is non-violent. I, I, you know, I think that is the right way because we have killed so many African people since the advent of the so-called independence. But when the, in, the, 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 the guardians of post-colonial era came in, they started actually instigating so many wars. So that's why I'm not for war. But I'm for trying to deprogram and reprogram Africans. We have had a lot of miseducation. Our, even our leaders themselves are slaves. They are in a cage, but they are slaves to the old colonialism and new colonialism. But they are in a cage, a cage which is of privileged people. But the rest of the populace is tied in chains. But if the people in chains can break the chains and force even the rulers to get out of the cage and attain freedom, I think that is the right way to go. Dr. Oswari, what kind of options they have? I'm from staying at home. Seems to say things that they do. Also, I don't know. Do have elections every time? Why can't you just do it? No, I, I, first of all, I don't share the title, Doctor, with mm -hmm. my colleague, Shabi. We started to get that some level, but I'm not a doctor. Just person. But I think um, there are two or three things. Number one, political parties are essentially public institutions. Uh, they operate in the public space. Anybody who thinks that political parties should be relegated to Colono, to Nambole, I think is making a very big mistake. Um, you can take NGOs there, but part of the, 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 the way political parties operate is to, to match your support, okay, to showcase um, uh, what they have. And you cannot do it if you are far from the people, okay? And I think it's, it's a uh, the people who always tell you move away from the central business district, go to Namboni, go to Kololo, everywhere, are missing one essential characteristic that political parties are essentially public institutions. Number two, about Dr. Besidi. I think in, Dr. Besidi is preaching activism, which really is very constitutional. And I think um, anybody who thinks that what he's doing is wrong, most probably does not understand our constitution. Now, I have heard this pedestrian argument being raised at various fora. It's violent, it's causing businesses to, to collapse and the like. I have on several cases seen Dr. Vesigo moving downtown, and people are giving him money. The people are giving him money. Some giving bottles of mineral water. Some are eat, all the time he was eating in the markets there. But it's not paying. Okay? No, 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 people are willing, you know, giving, because they identify with their cause. And if they identify with this cause, they identify with the cause of, of, of those that are always with them. What is it mean? So, 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 I think, no, 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 it's broad. For example, the issue of utility. Okay? There is a little utility, unimaginable utility in this country. And I want to begin with basics. For example, we need to 
Kele police station in this country. Talk to Abala alone. Gabala Metropolitan. You will not find a police station in Kabala, in a police cell, where people have not stayed more than 48 hours. This has been discussed that. Okay. That's the bill. You go to court, get a court order to release somebody who is in legal detention, and the police this does the court order. Okay? That's basically the bill. So, issues of infidelity are very important, and they are being faced by everybody. Today, I was, I was in court with Dr. Bessie, Jimmy Cooper, and, and, and the others. We were charged for addressing the press conference, and yet we had been banned. We were charged last year in the It is now a full year. And when you look at the charge sheet, they tell you, we addressed the press conference, yet we were illegal. Then they fully blame the cameras, and that will be saying they are still investigating. Now, that tells you two things. There is a lot of persecution in this country, as opposed to persecution. The idea of violence. One time I was, I, I was, I was on TV with a panic away, and I was telling him to come to court and testify on this violence he always talks about that we bring to the public. Okay? Yeah? That is violence. Somebody says, no position you are violent. You can stop people. Each time there is an activity, fortunately, we are arrested and taken to court. When no person comes to court to give evidence against us. These days, police moves with the mobile cameras. Each time we have a rally, each time we have a function, both legal and illegal, they are there with the cameras. Okay? And the rest. These guys never come to court to make evidence. And that's what Madame Sarah was saying. That the violence is as a result of police intervention. That's why when we recently had an engagement with the Inspector General of Police and Minister of Internal Affairs, in Madam, police has behaved. And as a result, our rallies are very peaceful, are very calm. By the way, tomorrow we will deal with Jimmy in my constituency. We will go north. So we will deal with the CIA in the afternoon. And on Sunday, we will deal with that. This campaign. So I think it's very important for us to address that kind of thing. Look at the repression in the country. And, 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 and what Dr. Bessie was talking about, reviving the protests, this whole idea of the NRM and distributing money, if somebody cannot make an argument that it is our internal matter, it cannot. When, when you are getting in power, yes. when you are getting in power, it ceases to be internal. What makes it, uh, if it ceases to be internal, then in fact, we are more concerned about democratic trends in the NRM much more than perhaps what happens in ours. Why? Because if NRM as a party is undemocratic, it is going to shift those undemocratic tendencies to the management of the country. That's why we are very critical. Anybody who wants to lock out another form of contesting, I don't want anybody to say those are internal matters. They cannot be internal. This is we are internal, for example. Why are we required as political parties to account the electoral commission? Why? I mean, the law would be saying you, you, those are your matters. But the law, the law, and, and not only EC, look at the, 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 the IGG and the leadership code act. As a leader of the political party, I am supposed to declare my will. Occasionally. Okay? Why? This is a, a, a party with only one MP in parliament. Okay? But if I don't, I am sanctioned. So political parties are public institutions, and what goes on there cannot be taken to be for only members. And it even becomes more relevant for us outside to push uh, the leadership and operations of the party that is in power. Okay? So you look at those trends and understand the reason behind the argument of people like Dr. Right. Kosidi. This is a country, by the way, where our levels of civic competence, our levels of civic consciousness is still very low. This is a country where you wake up one morning and petrol has risen to 500 shillings. You know that, I mean, from let's say 2,000 to 2,500. And look at this brother. This is a country where it will be reported in Parliament that government ordered the side of Alabama to be given a lot of money. Only 169 people. And look at This is a country, by the way, where you will discover that a lot of money was swindled in the program. And they are not bothered. I mean, you, 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 
there is no way we will allow our people to live in a situation of unconsciousness and, and, and some of us will apply. I think some people must take the responsibility to build this civil consciousness very consciously by the and I am glad that when we began to work in 2011, we didn't know we were creating a very big contribution. Somebody was asking me, what did work to work achieve? And I said, it not live in this country. Because of work to work, for example, we changed the government policy of Chuka. Oh. Yes. yes, you remember one of the reasons why we engaged in work to work was the inflation. Okay? High prices of among other commodities of sugar. You remember what happened? Something that became its place. Because of the and by the way, I have also told you, no, 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 they, they relaxed on, 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 on the policy that was banning the importation of sugar in this country, in course of And because of that, by the way, I remember, and I've said here before, for the first time, President Museveni wrote to letters, letters of political parties, to say, please come and win. They talk. And they put one condition in that letter, which I still have, that as long as we will talk, but I have one condition, abandon work to work. And in our reply, we told him, we cannot abandon work to work because we are not the ones who started it. Let me talk to him okay? So I think it's very important for us to, to continue ensuring that we remain civil. And finally, on the issue of violence, I, I, I don't think anymore. For example, a person who puts a bomb on his board and goes to kill people. So you think that person is mad? Most likely. You think he's mad? Is that normal? Okay. Mm. Well, the point I'm explaining is that sometimes conditions are forced onto us. I was in Libya. So you saw In Gaddafi Libya. You know what I'm telling you? I was in Gaddafi Libya. And I was very surprised. I asked a question. That's a simple question. By the way, who is the Mufti of Libya? Every simple question. See, you have to ask those questions here. Because brother leader is everything. Is the Mufti, is the governor, is the cardinal, is the right. Okay? Now, it does not surprise you that when conditions force you. For me, I think that people don't voluntarily go to war. War is first on the plan. And that's why we should always ensure that we avoid and fight conditions that drive people into war. I have heard finally, in these valleys we go to, especially the young people. Whenever a message is talking, you hear them saying, Jose, you have to wear a duma, you have to wear a duma. And the message they keep laughing at them. They say, nobody is saying it, wear a duma. Can you last one week in the bush? Maybe they want to yeah? Can you um, last just one week in the bush? So his argument has always been, yeah. when you use a duma eh, to come to power, it is those a duma that are going to torture you. That's why now we should be concentrating and emphasizing power of the people rather than power of the gun. Well, as soon as this is back from on radio, right? tonight we're reviewing the way major arrest. We've spoken about Dr. Leslie saying they will resume uh, the fact of civil civil disobedience. We previously had said they were going to be placed for the wrong gun. It has now said they will resume things that like the old one, uh, like they did before. After the 2011 elections, prices rose so far, they went to protest the uh, high prices, especially of fuel, by walking in their cars at home. Our guests tonight, Honorable Mike Salo, the Ghana representative of the staff of Parliament, also a member of the ADN and Disciplinary Committee, Mr. Azman Basak, the President of the GSTS Forum, and also known as Jema, Dr. David Shadow of the African Rainbow Alliance, also a lawyer, a lawyer senior partner of Shadow and Company, and Ms. Sarah Ebron, spokesman of the FPC Movement. Honorable Mike Salo, your MPs, not at the South African Parliament, but here in the NRM, from the NRM, but have been giving out money left, right, and center. Some has been accepted, some has been rejected. Why do you get so much money, even though you can't do that? After 28 years. Yeah, yeah that is uh, interesting. Uh, but I think we need to appreciate what, what is being undertaken. And uh, the issue of money may appear to overshadow the strategic objective of the engagement of the NRM parliamentary caucus with the party leadership in the sub-counties across the country. I, I, I just want to, 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 to bring it to the attention of the listeners and the viewers that this is an exercise that is worthy and that is timely, uh, given that uh, we are midway our term that we got uh, since 2011. 
and this is a midterm review on the performance of the NRM in terms of service delivery as per our manifesto of 2011. So in Champanzi, these issues came up. How are we faring? Because the bedrock of our manifesto was service delivery. And a number of resolutions were passed. Many of them were performance related, others were in terms of reminding government to speed up certain processes to ensure that uh, the service delivery is on spot. And the 22 resolutions were passed. 22. Many of them were on, there were resolutions on energy, resolutions on education and sports, health and power, power works and transport, and monopoly uh, regional integration. So there were 22 resolutions. And amongst those resolutions was also a resolution to do with the leadership of the party as we prepare for elections in, 20, in 2016. But also from the viewpoint of uh, party cohesion, party discipline, and uh, working together. So basically, those were put together. And after Chambuanzi, it was found whether that members of parliament to go and explain what well, we know all about that. I mean, well, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you may, you may have had it many times, but the listeners who may have not have had it. Just and I think, I think this uh, program is more to the listeners than to ourselves, so that we clear any issues that may be uh, confusing people. So they went out to explain. I remember several times. I believe most of our listeners would have had it. And last, maybe it's 10 percent just taking from other places. You are the right. But I find it a problem. I've listened to my colleagues to talk their points. At no point did I hear you kind of debating <laughs> that. And I listened quite patiently. How I wish I could be fairly treated and given an opportunity to explain myself. Because what they have said, people have heard it. But for what I've said, people have heard it and I shouldn't say it. I think what is good for the uh, <laughs> the good is good for the Uganda. So they went out to explain themselves, to explain the resolution. Now in this explanation, the internal working mechanisms that are used. When you call people party structure leaders, there's some facilitation because, because these meetings are held at sub counties. Some of the sub counties are really big sub counties. Someone picks a border border, comes for a meeting. And there is no one provided. So this money that was earmarked to be given to these people attending the meetings is basically for a bottle of water, for some land, As they go for home. transport, a bottle of water to and from, which is very, very, very noble thing. And I really wouldn't uh, say it as buying or anything. And the many meetings, many civil society meetings, it is a practice to facilitate people attending. I don't see it as being really extraordinary. Uh, thing. But what I want us to look at is the fact that there are 22 resolutions that are being explained. Right. And one of them uh, that has picked the airwaves and has picked uh, the, the attention of everybody is to do with the idea the NRM focus members came up with that we want cohesion, we want to move in an orderly manner. We are going to try to avoid restart by kicking ourselves all around. So the idea of saying, look, we have a tested member, we have a proven member, and, and in, a, in a manner of uh, uh, acknowledging what one has done, in a manner of appreciating and recognizing, we can still stand by a candidate or by the names of May himself. But this is not to say that another person should not show up. What I say to say, you are not in the You can come. I was there. I can. I can. I can. So, no, no, I, I don't mind how much you stand against I, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I'm only saying it for, for information. So I know what I'm talking about. The issue is that the caucus, that is their kind. And they're simply saying it. So according to them, according to the caucus, we have this candidate. If another one came, we are not going to consider him. We are not going to even see you. Not even hear you. Well, even hear you. But you are free to come. It is in the, in the, in the, this is the dream of the focus. And what is happening is that 
as democratic leaders, they are explaining this position to the rest of the population. And that is why uh, this resolution, the 22 of them, including this one, are being explained to the people. How much money did you give us yesterday? I was in the uh, Lubusiro. It was not a rally. These are not rallies. These are meetings. How many rallies? It's not each sub-county, it is standard practice. Each sub-county, 4 million shillings. So you have a share amongst the 200. How many are these in nature? 200. 200. Some are more. So it goes up in the case okay study you're meeting. Yeah, the meeting is about 300 people. Yeah. So how much each one? Get? What comes up is less than 20,000 shillings. So you got 20,000 shillings. Less, less than that. that. How much did you give them each one? What do you like to tell us? That one is 100 guys. That that you, know, you see what you do? You get the family on the quality standard divided by the people who have come. So it can vary from one place to another depending on the turnout. But the ideal number that was looked at was supposed to be 200. But many places it has been beyond that. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it is standard practice, facilitation, lunch and transport of that much. And you give out crisp banknotes, no coins, whatever remains you take it off. Madam, sorry, talk to us about this thing. Is it, is it agree? Which countries have done it? Whether well, extend rules, you know, one person's rule, until, you know. They are charged for fun of rates. Well, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Excuse Michael, because he stays most of the time in Russia. But just to remind you a little bit, in Champagne's uh, paper was passed, and even member of parliament was supposed to endorse, or as to whether they accept that to subsidy to be sole candidate for the ENA, for the black bear uh, uh, slot. And, uh, Honorable uh, Amama uh, Babazi uh, also signed to the press. It was number 202. So thereafter, the champ has a thing. You know, Chief Wim, when she called the member somebody, Justin, I had on the radio, she said, Honorable, you know, that's such a result. Okay, Honorable, just come out and say it. No, no, no. We have Honorable Amama Babazi who wants to contest for a fellowship. His candidate number uh, is signed number uh, 202. We are waiting to see. I'm going to pull out this list and remind him. He has endorsed list on seven. So what are you thinking? The issue is they don't want another person to contest. But what disturbs my head is that list on seven is at his weakest. These okay. people don't want to contest. He's a coward. What do you say? Okay. After 27 years, okay. Okay. now coming 30, if you are prepared so where, why are you? scared of the contest. Why does he, why do they want to portray him as a, a big coward? Really, really. Not, uh, uh, but, uh, a coward. It is a crossing. A coward. A contest. What? A coward. You know, of course he's going to be. What are you talking about? You have always had for those elections. So you think this one is going to be any better? But what I would like to encourage my opposition partners, we should cheer up this opportunity. Mr. Seven is at his weakest. He is fearing. A man who has worked all this time and cannot contest in his party. He may be a president. Yes. What do you read of it? Secret ballot of it. What do you read of it? He's just scared of a contest internally in his party. And the first secretary general instead of party chairman. I don't know. That is not his idea. People are appreciating. Why is he calling it? Why is he calling it? Why is he calling it? The MPs, the supporters, and the leaders who really want to appreciate, recognize, and acknowledge his leadership potential. One thing, Dr. Sabal is my liberal expert, even old folk. Dr. Sabal is, is it a novel thing in the world? So, has it happened in another place? It's a travesty. Oh, question. How can we force a population to get to consensus? Consensus must be grown naturally, not forced onto people. So let me, I have, I have listened to my brother, Ole you get 200 people in the room, or 300 people, give them some cash, give them some cash, from my, from my calculation, that is 13,000 shillings, these are peasants who take like about two, three, six months without even holding one, uh, 13,000 shillings. And then they make a decision for the whole constituency or district. Why can't they subject this decision 
Oh, the neighbor should move in there for the delegates. Yeah, if they are not scared. Now, if I if I may, when we are speaking, I keep quiet. I respect the presentation, my brother. Okay, sub county. Let's not say. Okay, sub county. All the sub counties in the district have their meetings in their sub counties. Exactly. Now, sub county. You only have 200 to 300 people deciding for the whole sub county. Leaders. Yes. Now, these are leaders who are easily manipulable or manipulated. Ironically, while you are trying to, uh, my brothers and sisters in, in NRM trying to promote the single candidature of a uh, beloved president, they also file criminal charges against those promoting the candidature of the prime minister. Yes, they have yes, been sir. dropped. But after the uh, uh, after the fact after thought, so they can be reinstated. By the way, so uh, if you want that there should be no contest against our president, then sh this should be natural brute force upon them. 1964, uh, beloved Pan African Dr. Kwame Nkrumah tried to play the same game. What did he do? And he convinced his party to endorse him as the only candidate. Yes. As he was out of the country, he was overthrown by one of these soldiers. Who was the party? What kind of people can be soldiers? You, you cannot presume that all the soldiers in this country, all the rulers or leaders in this country, think the same way. Don't try that. They don't think in a pigeon hole way. Like, like you put a male in a pigeon hole of a member of parliament uh, at, at parliamentary building. People have their own minds. And the worst thing you can ever commit is try to bottle the brains of the citizens or your subjects. You must let them think, and then democracy grows naturally. So money should not be dished out to entice money. and motivate and manipulate the poor populace. It's only a trust No, you see, we are told that this was supposed to be money for chairs, tents, and other things. Yes. Uh, and, and even drinks, okay, water. But how come it ended up being dished out so they can on it. camera? Yeah, so so, that, they so, so they that, that means that they don't have to. But my brother will say, Baruch, from which account this money comes from? That has not been explained. So, <laughs> by the way, can I just say one more thing? Yes. Yeah. 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 We not even given this money. So, it's not money. So, like I say, we are Africa. Africa. No, 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 no. No. Like, like I say, uh, Africa is still uh, uh, ruled by people who have made slavery. The, the ruled and the, 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 the rulers and the subjects, we are we are all suffering from mental slavery because we, we try to emulate uh, the, the former the former slave masters how they behave. So, so by divide and rule, you divide with the money, divide otherwise. All right. I mean, our time is up. But you know, when she was talking about the Secretary General knowing about this money, it's difficult to believe that. But when in Zimbabwe, the Secretary General pushed out the party president. We don't want those things to be tried here. But tell us about this money. Right? Right. There is a parliamentary thing that we focus with the Secretary where contributions are made is the government. Even when you come to the building, and this money, it's big money, and it's big money, and the military, and these people have been contributing since the last parliament. So that shows you should be appreciated. And the secretary tells you that the only president of the the president, but so that he takes so from the president of the country. qualified to become a president. Yes. Let me first address the missing presentation by Honorable Osman. There were many resolutions in Chang'an. If it is true that there were many resolutions in Chang'an, if it is true that there were many resolutions, how come even the government media is amplifying the one of the solo candidature? How come? Even the government media, that's one. Number two, how come the top is No, 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 no. I don't think I want to be too. I am asking this. I am asking this. No, 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 no. It's not the question I'm asking. What I'm asking is, how come that even the government media is amplifying the sole candidate resolution. Because number two, controversial. Number two, how come that if the only ground it is the sole candidate message, that is good. That is what I'm saying. Number two, 
Let us assume. Let us assume that this was NRM money. Okay. Let us make an assumption that this was NRM money. What is the priority of NRM as a party at the moment? What is the priority? Jeremiah, which is hardly five years, we are not fighting. We are not fighting. What should be the priority? Everything is Yes. In Kanungu. In Kanungu. The NRM members said, if it is true, this is your money. We have a bridge which has not been, which has been disturbing us for the last ten years. What stops this good NRM from being a philanthropist for the first time and put this money to use? Okay? Just donate this money to the national treasury to address some of the social challenges afflicting this country. That's not their job. Okay? If this is not their job, they are the party in power. Can they assume the spirit of philanthropy for the first time? Okay? Because you see, if we can argue that this is our money, this is what we decided to do with it. But what are the social challenges facing you as a party in power? Number three, we are really victims, us in the opposition. In fact, this campaign we are on, the campaign for fear and fair elections, we have been carrying, holding town hall meetings. Yes. We did it in Barara, in Ibenyamo, in Imbale, in Soroti. We are going to do it tomorrow in the beginning. No way have we promised the people money. Okay? Now, no. are uh, uh, these NRM supporters special beings that for them to come to a meeting, they must be given some sort of concentration? Number two, when did the NRM begin giving people coming to meetings money? They have been in the power for close to 30 years. The mean you are giving people money now because of this resolution? I think, in the words, in, in, the, in, in the words of Imam Kassos, in the words of Imam Kassos, what Honorable Sebaru is doing is that he's trying to actually wash away what President Museveni has been doing by suppressing the democracy. What we are seeing in the NRM is actually an affront on democracy, the suppression on democracy, and for me, I am more worried if people of my generation, Honorable yes. Sebaru, also jump on this. Yes, jump on this man weapon of attempting to suppress democracy, attempting to kick people out. Because for all intents and purposes, there is no way you can pass a resolution to say nobody should stand against well, the president. I mean, the president for 28 years cannot be marketed like he. Like, 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 to avoid this and that. Yes. 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 And, and, and in, in terms of the money, this money is for the NRM focus. Not the party. NRM focus. I am asking you to understand. I am asking you to understand. I am asking you to understand.